All right, just jumping right into it. None of this stream starting soon stuff. We're going. Chase after Girahim. No, thank you. I've got heart pieces to get. Lightning round. All right. Okay. Well, let's look up piece of heart stuff. Hey, welcome back. Everyone needs more heart pieces. Exactly. So I've got a list up here. We... Okay. Tightrope in the Farron Woods. I definitely got that. Uh, break the Lumpy Pumpkin Chandelier. Got that. Goddess Cube on the entrance to Skyview Temple. Got that one. Skyview Kempo Temple Encounter the Beetle. I don't think I got that one. There was also one I looked over. I looked over something here. Here's strike tires, arrow and repose. Apparently, I was like, I don't care what you have to say, my guy. Speak Gorons is what that is what the ancient writing meant by striking targets from afar. For helping out with my research, I'll give you a little something. Apparently, he gives you that. I was just like, oh, this is a tutorial. I don't need to care, right? Wrong. <clears throat> Alright, fastest way to travel. Go to the sky and come right back down. Whew. I had that, uh, beef... Beef soup, stew, whatever you pie soup. Um, I threw the ingredients in first. We had, in, in chicken stock, I had some uh, beef pieces. Beef for stew. Stew turned out. Yes, it did. When I first threw it all in there. Um, yeah, forest temple. When I first threw it all in there, I was like, okay, put it in the slow cooker, and I cooked it up uh, for three hours on the high setting, and it was pretty good, except the, the stew, or the, the beef, hadn't properly broken down like you would want in a, in a soup. It was kind of, like, the fat was kind of slimy on it, which was kind of gross. Um, so that was, ugh. So then what I did was, after that, I put it back. I, you know, left it all in there. Come on. And I put it on the slow cook uh, setting for, the low setting for 10 hours overnight. And I just had some again, and it's much better. So yeah, it turned out rather well. It's uh in in chicken stock it was sliced uh whoop, or pieces of, chunks of beef. Um chunks of beef beef with diced tomatoes and onions. So the tomatoes and onions were delightful. Oh my god, I never even saw that. Delightfully, uh... Mushy? That doesn't sound like a good adjective, but you know. They weren't crunchy at all. 
which is you know not what you want want in a soup. Unless it's like tortilla soup. That's embarrassing that I missed this one. It's like it's not in a treasure chest, so I was like, well, got all the treasure chests. No, but it's out in the open. Okay. Ten gratitude crystals. Definitely did that. Elden Volcano. Climb up. I'm pretty darn sure I did that. Acquire bombs, yes, goddess cube number 12. Temple of Time did that. Fun Fun Island did that. Pay off the Lumpy Pumpkin did that. Farron Woods with the bombs did that. Skyloft did that one. Farron Woods. Baron Woods. Zelda's cupboard, yes. Sandship got that one. Did that one. Fletch's pumpkin challenge, yes. Fire sanctuary. Catch magma, yes. Acquire the magma myths. Dig outside. Did that. Bug rock. I think I've gotten that one. All else fails, I can visit the chest themselves. The shipyard. The sand shipyard. Didn't do that. So Lanayru. Kind of worried because I'm I'm missing a lot, you know. Two more to go for this one, but then I'm missing eight after that. Apparently there's a there's the uh, in the sand ships shipyard there's a mini game involving minecart. Oh, nice! Just descend right there. I think there's a couple heart medals in the game, too. So I'm wondering if the game is like, oh, you need to hold the heart medals if you want full hearts. Be a little meh, if that's true. Sorry, boys. Don't have time. Hey, you, what are you doing? Well, you're here now. How about a little fun? Fun? Got your attention, egg. Hey, yeah, let me explain. So here's a race against time. Scream across that finish line as fast as you can. Tilt your body, lean your cart. If you lean at just the right angle on a corner, you'll get a nice speed boost. You lose your concentration when you're cruising around a bend, though, and you will run right off the rails. If that happens, you lose the race. Sure.
Heart stopping. Come on, hurry up. Probably have to get sixty five seconds or less. Finished. Warming up. Got my money back. Secret, like, go all the way. Well, I beat my time. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I just don't understand how I'm supposed to do better. Let's see. You lean at just the right angle. It's like, does that mean, does that mean, like, literally, like, there are certain angles are better than the other, or do I just have to lean into every turn? Just try taking the right path next time.
New record. You finished. Set a new record. Good, great work. It's warming up. Try to the right track. What's propelling the cart? Yeah, that feels like the right way to go. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Come on now. Yeah, that's better. I, I want my money back. I don't want the treasure at this point. I want liquid cash monies. No! <sighs> you feel so good about it, and then you do that last, um, that last straightaway, and then it's just like, oh. Don't get hit by that. It's not good.
That turn messes me up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need 65 seconds. Oh my god. Who's texting me? There we go. Asian multi-track grip drifting. I need to jump some track is what I need to do. The right track is definitely the way to go on the split. That, that turn, I need to not even try to bother. I need to remember that turn comes up and then not even bother with it. No. Okay, so after the after the, the split is done with its curves, there's like one where I lean left, I think. I need to not care about that one. I'm like trying to do it and it's and then for whatever reason it's just not working. this part.
I wonder what the speed run time is. If if there's speed runs of this, and what time. Probably something ludicrous, you know, they always seem to find some exploit. Can't confirm there are speed runs, you can run with a glitch some stuff, just skip a ton. I will never come by again. Okay, so the last. Piece of heart is in Lanayru's lightning round. But I, before I do that, because that's the one I want that to be the last thing I do. Max hearts, Skyward Sword. Got all the heart pieces. 18 plus. With every heart caner you have, you'll end up with 18 hearts in total. Okay, so, uh, good. So I want to stop by the, um... <sighs> Excuse me. No, there's... I'll, I'll show you why. I gotta stop by Skyloft first. There's a gossip stone. I'm trying to remember if he like shows you where goddess cubes are. I'm not interested in in getting an upgraded wooden shield and iron shield. <laughs> Welcome, darling. So now you can you can have a shield, two life metals, and five all five bottles. So now you'll see once I get the last piece of heart, I'll have two more. Yeah. And since I have, I've, I've bought everything in the game, I've, um, you know, upgraded everything I want to upgrade, and, uh, you know, yeah, but look, Skyward Sword, Gossip Stone. Sparring Halt's Hall one. 
What is that thing? Hints and videos to watch. Yeah. So yeah, it all works out nicely. You have eight. If you have all the adventure pouches, you have all like eight spots. I think there's five bottles. Where's the sparring hall one? It was removed in HB HD. Weird. How many bottles are there? Are there five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Maybe I do want to upgrade the, the shield just for the other shields just for kicks. You know what? Let's see. This is not where I want to go. Hey! No. Nothing. I don't want anything from you. It's like once you get the ancient shield, like there's no reason to go back. It is much less durable, but since it heals itself, I mean. <laughs> ah, tumbleweed. Five tumbleweed. I'll be going to Lanayru anyway. The completionist in me is uh is getting twitchy. Five tumbleweeds. This is not... Tumbleweed, I don't know. I feel like it's like the most common thing. Unfortunately, like, it's not something you can just go and kind of pick up easily. You kind of have to go out of your way to find it. Or to, to grab it, rather.
One. Oh, bogus. They all, all have their hard coded like areas so that you don't sh do shenanigans where you like lead them way across the map to get to other places. So if you leave their area, they'll turn around and go back. Oh, tumbleweed. And then I need to find a goddess wall. So I can get me some fairies. Four. I heard one break. I think. That's tragic. So yeah, lightning round. Fairies don't help with lightning round. They will help with... There we go. Um, they, they do help with uh, final boss battle, though. Although, technically... Eh, I could just get red potions... Because those heal eight hearts. But like, I don't know. I'll, I'll be good either way. Jerk. It's a gorge. Well, I suppose I can just... Yeah, I'll have to go back there anyway. Okay, so plan is... Uh, do the lightning round. Do four, I believe. Four rounds and stop. Get the pieces of heart. And then do eight rounds, then stop, get the piece of heart. And then that's it. I don't think I'm going to try to... Um, since you don't get any, like, special thing, you get, like, 9,900 <gasps> rupees, you, you fill your wallet. If you... 
um, beat all of the bosses. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Finally, Link, you really did come back. Glad to see it. Well, then let's have some fun. Be a hero such as yourself has no time for playing around. Well, what I offer is more than mere child's play. I would have you face challenges that draw upon the many hardships you've experienced thus far. The past to understand the future, that's what I say. And I think you will find that you have much to gain in revisiting your own past. So what do you say, Link? I'm game. You're a true hero, that's the spirit. Then if you permit me, let me take a peek at your past experience. In indeed, indeed. You have done some amazing things like battling fierce foes and overcoming the daunting trials of the Silent Realm. Alright then, based on those experiences, you can choose one of two exciting challenges. Battle. When I do battle, fantastic. I like your max Moxie. Because you chose battle, I will select from only the toughest opponents you've ever faced. And I will use some of my power to recreate the same battle so you can face your greatest enemies once more. You're being a good sport, so I'll reward you. Do well enough, and I might give you something truly special. An absurdly, sturdily shield. Oh, but if you lose, well, let's just say that this isn't just a game. If you lose, it's all over. You won't be going home in one piece. Smoking like a little warrior. Oh, I like it. The begin. Ning. Start? Okay, let's fight Moldorok first. Lanero Mining's facility. Gotta tell you something. The only items you can use to battle are the items you would have had at the time. If that's it. Also, pouch items are prohibited. I know that sounds really hard, but you fought these guys once before, so I've got to keep it interesting. Maybe I'm being a little bit rough on you here. Tell you what, I'll let you take the shield you currently have equipped. I think they came the same HP, though. So. This was what? Before I had any... Power-ups? Like, is there anything the Shield Bash can't handle? Ah. There. Got me once. That was a pain. Link, that was incredible. You're quite a warrior. So long, blah, blah, blah. Hey, thanks for the follow, Ghost Valley TV. Welcome in, you fan of Scarlet Sword HD. Hope you enjoy. I'm just uh, finishing up getting the Hylian Shield. Well, getting the last piece of heart, getting the Hylian Shield, and then finishing up the game. Hope you enjoy. Here's 50 rupees. Well, then take it. By the way, Link, what do you think about trying another battle right now? I wouldn't ask you if there wasn't another war on the table. In fact, the more battles you win, the better your reward when the war, your reward when you finish. As I mentioned before, I've got lots of rewards, including absurdly sturdy shield. Shield durability and hearts will carry over battle to battle. Well, I apologize if Ghost Valley TV was a real person. But my follower goal went up to 474, but my followers stayed at 473. So it might just be that they were a bot. Ugh. Again, I apologize if you are a real person, but 
Wah, wah, wah. Now you get to look forward to finding out who your opponent is at the start of each battle. But enough chatter, let's get this fight started. Could be. Well, the uh, Twitch stats are pulled right from from what I've seen. The Twitch stats I have pulled on OBS are immediate. You gotta remember, he, he runs up to you, and then he stops, and then he swings. Well done. Spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you to finish off Giddy Heat. 44. Seconds. Oh yeah, I do have bombs. Wow. Because I think the strength of your sword doubles every time. I don't, so you're, you're like eight times stronger than, than with the original goddess sword. Hold on to spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you. It's 40 seconds. Um, yeah, I want that piece of heart. Unfortunately, the rewards don't stack. You have to quit and then restart. Oh, yeah. Because it's hero mode. Because it's hero mode, I can do this one, even though I haven't bought it yet. Fun fact, Girihim is the only person in this entire game, the only, you know, enemy character, whatever, that can survive a fatal blow. Oh, that's right. Come on.
I'll do this again. That's what I was looking for. If you do diagonal strikes, it always works. Thanks for your skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you to finish off Gideheem. 303.94. Yice. All right, sweet. That's all my hearts. I have to go to the bathroom. I will give you a word from our sponsor. And I will be right back. I'm back. Y'all miss me? All right, eight, eight in a row. Let's go. Battle. Galactos. Oh, 
Psych yourself up for this. Alright. This is my favorite boss fight in all of Zelda. Man. Oh, your arm's off. So that's clip worthy. <laughs> Not really, but wow. Dodged a bullet there. I wonder if I can shield bash. Take that, you monster. Yeah, no. That was a little silly. I should probably be rather conservative. Oh, I don't get any pouch items either. That's right, so the, the heart medals don't. Dang. I don't think hearts appear at all. What? What got me? There we go.
Not the greatest start. Can't really afford to be dropping hearts like that. Ugh. What did I just say? I just hope I don't get the horde. Makes you fight a bunch of enemies and it's just a pain. It's okay in regular mode because hearts appear when you defeat them. Hero mode. You don't have any... Can't use any pouch items. So that means no heart menu. Heart me metal. Brat. All right, up to Oh no. Got me the tail? Wow. See, how does this work? That's how. So I only needed to take out the beans first. So I did not know that the the tail. could do that, could hurt you.
Where's Groos? That way. Kind of like, uh, Groose, you want to maybe take a round to me? Like, you land on the other side, Goose is just like, hey, run over here. It's like, dude, you got wheels. Well done, spectacular skills on display once again. For so long it took you to be imprisoned. But why? I'm not really interested in being all the enemies. Oh. Where are you, you tentacle freak? There we go, jeez. There we go. Next cycle, please. Next phase, rather.
No. There we go. How far am I going? 300, okay, I got three more to go. Oh, I should have saved. Okay, it, the gift game does auto save. All right, gear heat fight two. Got him. Remember that Gear Heem fight you just did? Let's just do it, but lamer. Couple more battles to go. Hopefully it's not the horde. I need four bombs, don't I? Yeah. So rude, trying to kill me while I'm restocking on bombs. 
Alright, now this is good enough. What? I two cycled him last time. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, frick. And that's kind of bogus. I managed to hit him with a bomb blast while he was above me, but it didn't fall. Can I do it? Can you give me, like, Moldorok? Just play this one safe. First in prison fight won't be bad. Can do it. You oh, can do it. Yes, I can. So if I beat this guy, I can take two hits. And as long as I'm careful, like this is probably one of the easier bosses. I'll get the shield, and then it'll be on to the final boss, and we'll be golden. Okay, I could have taken that one. I didn't want to. I didn't want to take the uh, that that jet of air. I was afraid I'd get hit. It's like I could, um, I could definitely, it's within my capabilities to finish the entire lightning round, um, 100%, but it's just money, and I don't need to buy anything anymore, so, I don't think it's, I don't really consider it part of 100%ing the game. It's like I got all the gods cubes, got all the pieces of heart. And I beat the game. Got the absurdly sturdy shield. All the gratitude crystals. Um, stop. There we go.
I'm just lucky it was one of the first bosses. Oh. Absurdly sturdily shield is mine. Well done, spectacular skills on display once again. <laughs> Highland Shield. This legendary shield is imbued with heroic power, making it completely indestructible. Which goes to show, it, it begs, it like, kind of begs the question of like, okay, so the Highland Shield is unbreakable in every single other game. Are they magic one? <laughs> you know, just because there's a durability mechanic in this game. I think this game and Breath of the Wild are the only ones that have durability mechanics for shields. Um, yeah, I mean, so, some of the other games you can lose a wooden shield if it burns, but as long as you don't... Um, as long as you don't, like, burn it, it will block as many attacks as you want. Cool to make a goddess shield. Get that sh shimmery stuff. Get, like mild rainbow shimmer. On the outsides. shield. <laughs> Ran out of monster claws. No. Oh, darn. I was worried something might, like that might happen. Oh, well, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go get it. Okay. Because, like, technically, I could buy a quiver and a bomb bag. Extra quiver and extra bomb bag. Alright. At the risk of sounding arrogant... Uh, well, you know what? this revitalizing fixes a broken shield I've never used this so why not you know
Okay, y'all ready? Of course, it's actually technically, um, it's not really the end. I still have a couple. There's like three boss fights in the end. It is time. Two of them you can find in the. I don't think you fight Demise himself in the uh, lightning round. But I know there's there's two boss fights in succession. You saw the Girahim one. The other one's the Horde. You'll you'll find out what that is. Where's the goddess wall? Wow. Not yet. I wonder what the time limit is. Okay. Might be a mite arrogant going in without the fairy, but I think I can do it. All right, you know what? Serious. We're going for it. Girahim, you must chase after him. You ran through the great doors at the front of the temple. You may yet catch him before it's too late. Hurry. He does look nice with that with that Hylian shield on his back. This song features prominently in Hyrule Warriors. Hear me, my hordes. The spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns. Until then, you will keep that wealth from here interfering with my ritual. I don't care if the whole lot of you get it lodged on the end of his blade. You will buy me the time I need. Do not fear him. Fear my wrath if you fail me. Like, why did you just build, like, a, 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 a wall around Link? It's the classic not actually time.
Like, as soon as they touch my sword, they just go, wow. I'm not exactly sure of the logistics, but there is a way you can you can jump up one of the moblins. Uh, shields, like you do with the iron one, and then just hop over that wall. Like Ninja Man here, I think. Yeah, he's like, he's so cool. Got me in the back. Wrong button for jump. I was doing Breath of the Wild jump.
got some practice already because Girahim showed up in both um, both of my, my lightning rounds. No way. <laughs> You're far too quick, boy. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? Hmm? You petulant brat. You push me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what? Fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. This time, there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before, but I won't make that mistake again. That, I promise! If only I put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy, and the next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Round three. Fight! Yeah, that one Bacoblin. Jeez. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity, so I let you run with your life. Twice, even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like any creature with a basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back. Again, and again, and again. I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand before a demon, or should I say, a weapon without mercy. For you, boy, I've prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as fine sustenance for the demon king. Drive me off the edge, huh? It's almost like I have some sort of apparatus that lets me fall from any height without dying. Yeah, it's like I probably should... Technically could have done this first... But I wanted all the hearts I could get. Stupid Jimmy Neutron haircut here.
Oh. You wretched brat! This, this is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? Ah, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to save her. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete. The demon king shall devour the soul of the goddess and resurrect in his full glory. That's not good. Don't you see? It's all over. You and your kind have lost. The world and everything in it now belong to the darkness. They belong to my master. Welcome back to us, Master. Gross. So you are the chosen knight of the goddess. Intriguing. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic this bag of flesh fails, pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. Oh! 
Don't worry, Link. Groose has got this. Touchdown. Link guy. I caught her. She's okay. Mm, so you and that other human would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, would you? How curious the humans I've known were weak things. Hardly more than insects shivering under rocks and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, mewling and braying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think that those cowards begot someone like you. You grow more fascinated by the second human. I never imagined that one of, I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well, then. I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. You still have the courage to face me. Seek me there. Link, it's all on you. Oh, listen up. Granny has some info for you. The old girl says it'll take time for that grease wad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can talk, take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. I, I know you can do it. So yeah, you've got to do this. You're all Zelda's got. You've got to make this happen. If you fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has left cowering and crying, as befits your kind. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world I would build, come for me. I've waited eons to return. I can spare a few moments to let you decide. It's up to you now, Link. Dang, if I don't hurry, Zelda's soul is going to be swallowed completely. Bye. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, I need some fairies. Super secret healing jutsu. Sitting on floor. Stool. Nearest goddess wall. Has this recharged yet? Goddess wall location.
Oh, there's one right inside Skyview Temple. That's right. I've got time. Not right there. It'll blow a freaking keys. Oh yeah, I already, already found it. Don't need to do that. There we go. Okay. For realsies. I completely forgot how to fight this guy. So the first time I played through the game, all I did was um, shield bash every single one of his uh, attacks. And it was like shield bash, shield bash, shield bash, strike. And that was how I did it. So my question is, does the gate of time teleport you to the exact same time, like that you left? Or does time pass the same in front, you know, in the future, or in the present and the past? So if I spend five minutes here, well, there are five minutes pass in the present.
Yeah, best not to think about those sorts of things. Time travel, especially one like this, does not make sense. Important information you own, blah, 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 zero percent chance. Let's check. Yep, got my Guardian Potion, got my Heart Potion, got my Hylian Shield, two Heart Metals. I mean, I don't need any items or anything like that. Like, I, none of my, it's all Sword and Shield from now on. Tighten up my wrist straps. Know that even in the place that lies beyond the portal, I will be with you. And Master, good luck. Ah, so you've decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced ba valor, human. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. The hate for the gods that has boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow as I wipe all of those who oppose me from the face of this world. It won't be long now, at last, the almighty power I've sought for millennia. I will take the Triforce for my own. And the world shall be under my foot for eternity. Are you kidding me? Cheap shot. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Hiya. Anyway.
Oh. Nope. Take this. Oh. Oh, I have my shield up. Take this! Victory is mine. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I have ever known, though this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. I will rise again! Those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away. So if the Link in the past sealed the demise in the past, why did we ever have to fight the imprisoned in the future? You have done well, Link. <gasps> Link! Thank you. I think it's over. Finally. It's all over. The waterworks. Nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing this little adventure I like to call The Legend of Groose. It's a little joke.
Joke or not, your contribu contributions to our efforts were heroic. You have my thanks. Oh, uh, well, you know, just glad I can make myself useful. Happy things turned out okay. Hey, so things look pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Granny was really worried about you two. Don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. <laughs> Hylia, your grace, or perhaps you prefer Zelda. It pleases me to know you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. Master Link, you have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the Hero of Legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as Master and Servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal be before you, and I will return to the sword to enter asleep without end. Master, you have achieved the purpose you are chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword in the pedestal and bring the Goddess mission to an end. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. Link. Link, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Link. But now, at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe that this feeling correlates closest to what your people call happiness. Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me the sword, I wish to relay to you the words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you. Master Link. I'm not sure anyone said thank you, Master Link, though. May we meet again in another life. What? Impa, why? Come with us! Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. I... I know that, but... You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Imba, come back with us. 
Zelda, the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The ra last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Slower than I blew triple without it. Are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. <laughs> Sorry, Impa. Zelda sells too many copies for Ganondorf not to awaken again. Demise. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. The knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. Those are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. Guess who? <laughs> See, I told you we'd been again. Granny took the long way around. Impa, thank you. Thank you for everything. So pretty. Oh, God. 
took much longer than I thought when I finally finished the the games I was playing. Now all I gotta do is figure out what my schedule will be for the future. My Fitbit registered me as um, on an outdoor bike today for 18 minutes uh, at like an hour and a half ago. What was I doing an hour and a half ago in stream? Strike, strike, strike. It's kind of interesting here. shows Zelda's. She got struck down, managed to dodge. Um, dodge Gudahim. Or was, was rescued by the old lady who told her to go pray at the Skyview Temple and then in Elden. So she made the journey all by herself. And then was captured and shackled up here in the Fire Temple, where she was rescued by Impa. Where Impa took her back in time at the Temple of Time to seal demise. shiny door. Satoru Iwata-san! wonder what his last game he worked on was because like he's executive um producer of here you know of regular scarred sword but then you see a scarred hd staff There's a sand ship. How is the sand ship sailing around on the sand sea? There's no water.
Nintendo is the author of this software for the purpose of copyright. All rights reserved. Copyright Nintendo. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. It's calling and stretch. Oh, flying down to the surface. I got gotcha. you. In Hyrule Warrior, Sheik uses the harp as a weapon. Pretty cool. Look around us. As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I, I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. What about you, Link? What will you do now? The end. But also the beginning of the entire Zelda franchise. You have conquered hero mode. Congratulations. You want to create a save just before the final battle? Yeah, sure. All right, folks, that's it. No more streaming this weekend. Uh, maybe Sunday night if I keep my schedule like it is. But thanks, everybody, coming out. Much stardew in the future. Keep an eye on the Discord. Schedule is a changing. But yes, in any case, thank you everybody for coming out. If you are watching and you like what you saw and you are not currently following, feel free to follow. If you are following, you can check out my other social media in the description or you can subscribe. Other than that, stay safe out there, folks. Get vaccinated as soon as you're able. Don't leave your house unless you're not vaccinated. Uh, but if you do need to leave your house, make sure you wear a mask and stay at least six feet away from other people and wash your hands often. Bye, everybody.